Oh, oh, I, I didn't see you there. It's it's kind of kind of rainy outside, and well, I'm Common Lego, and welcome to my review of the seven six seven one ATAP Walker. This bad boy retailed for forty dollars, and it came out in two thousand and eight, and was kind of the transition between the Episode Three line and the Clone Wars line, and I believe was on store shelves for quite a quite a long time, which will explain how this set really didn't gain a whole lot of value. Fat and ugly, and I mean that's that's mean. That's it's not fat and ugly. It's it's I mean it's fat, but it's it's pretty. It's it's very pretty and fat. I really actually like that it's fat. You know, the fatness on this, you know, it's not fat, it's thick. There's just something distinct about this design. You know, I, I just really vibe with it. I like it. it it's, it's bulky. That's a better. Not thick, it's bulky. And I like that about it. You know, it, it is kind of menacing. You know, you, you know, I would not want to be a little Honda over here. And, you know, I wouldn't want... You know, that, you know, to happen, you know, to me, really, at all. Dead. I think this tan, I think the Republic symbol is what this is, the tan, the dark red, with these two lime green pieces, and it's the same thing on this side. I think that just adds just the right amount of color to this, as well as this dark red, to make it not just some generic, you know, gray walker. And you can open this up. In fact, you can open up a lot of this. You know, you can boom, flippity floppity, and you can bippity boppity these open and get a good view of the interior where you got two seats to put your two minifigures. You got two places to put your weapons. There is what I believe would be the engine, the controls, and yeah, a lot of, lot of neat, all the stuff you would expect. But still, neat, good amount of room, and you got also a turret right here, which can rotate, can move up and down, and there is another turret that can move up and down, a much bigger one, a much cooler one, because bigger is always better. I'm guessing you guys might be noticing this. I sure noticed it while building it, and that is panel gaps, Technic pieces, you know, just open space, you know, it's, it's there. You can see it. It is very obvious, and oh yeah, there's also this gun. I think I forgot to mention it. You know, it it, it it it's not the most refined thing. It isn't up to par with what you would imagine uh, would be modern Lego. I haven't bought the other ATAP walkers, but I assume this stuff looks a lot tighter and a lot neater. But if you display it from like this angle, or from the front, or even front side. It still looks pretty good. If you're going to put this on a shelf like that and, and it's up high, then what are you doing with your life? Like, come on. Come on, bro. So if you want to get rid of that third leg because you're a very two-legged person and that's just kind of your world view, you have this little white piece right here that can connect the leg right there and then boom, two-legged. These Episode 3 Clone Troopers are amazing. They slap. And uh, one strange thing about this Shock Trooper, which previously only came out in the original Battle Pack, is they have a white belt instead of a black belt. The only one of the Episode 3 Troopers to have a white belt. I mean, I dig it. It's cleaner. But it's it's kind of strange, in my opinion. If I were to talk to the designer of the set, I would definitely ask him, Yo, what's up with the white belt, my guy? You know, and I would say it in that voice. And yeah, I just wish I built a huge army of these back when these were affordable and not like a million dollars each. I dig it. I dig it a lot. You know, this is just such a fun thing to see. Uh, it's fun. I'm having fun looking at it. Does it have problems? Yeah. Panel gaps? Yeah. You know, I, I accidentally, you know, ran over that kid that one time, you know. Oh, wait, we're not talking about, we're yeah, talking about the ATAP. Yeah, ATAP, it's not perfect. But you know what? Being perfect is boring. And this is not boring. This is fun. <laughs> 